Hi Maker, it's Charlotte with Makesy. Today I am so excited to show you the ultimate candle starter kit. If you've never made candles before or you're looking to take your candle making to the next level, this kit is the perfect place to start. As you can see, it includes a whole lot of candle making goodness. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what is included in this kit, a few insider tips and tricks on how to successfully use them, and walk you through a little bit on how to make candles. So first, what goes into a candle? Most of us know. Obviously, you need a container or a vessel, something to put your wax, your fragrance, and your wick into. We have lots of fun wax included with this kit and some exploratory fragrance. For many people, fragrance is their favorite part of making their own candles. Fragrance is an amazing sensory experience and it's one that's personal to you. In this kit, we allow you to choose a 16 ounce fragrance and you'll also receive one of our fragrance discovery kits that contains 10 fragrances for you to explore and play around with. So speaking of playing, this kit is really about playing and having some fun while you learn. This kit is like starting your own candle making lab. You'll receive a pouring pitcher, a wax melter, and lots of tools to help get you started. So let's dive in. First, we have our vessels. In this kit, you'll get to choose between different colors of our Aura vessel and our five ounce metal tin. In this case, I have cream in both colors. Cream and black are great neutrals, and if you plan to sell these products after you've tested them, then these are some top selling colors in the market as well. We also include wax. Wax can be one of the things that I think is overlooked sometimes in candle making, but it's so important. Having a wax that's easy to use will help make your candle making process more efficient and save you tons of time. In this kit, we include 11 pounds of our virgin coconut soy wax. This is our top selling candle wax. It's creamy, white, and has a really beautiful glossy appearance. This is a single pour wax. A single pour wax simply means that after your candle has been poured, you won't have to go back to it to fix it down the road. Some waxes like 100% soy or other natural blends can have dents, divots, or just a not so smooth surface. With a single pour wax, you avoid all of that and you're left with a beautiful creamy white top on your candle. Now, you also are going to receive two wax discovery kits. These wax discovery kits contain all of the wax types that we offer. This will really allow you to test different wicks with different wax types and determine which you like best. When you're choosing your wax type, ask yourself a few different questions. What ingredients do you wanna call out? What color do you want your wax to be? Will you add a dye or will you leave it all natural? When you test out different waxes, they will have different uh, temperatures that you need to heat them to. For example, with soy waxes and natural waxes, they tend to perform better when heated to a lower temperature versus coconut waxes or like our virgin coconut soy blend here, performs better when you heat to 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. That's on the higher end. So melting your wax is another piece of candle making that it's important to think about how to be efficient and save time in this process. If you're making a small batch of candles, then this pitcher will be perfect for you. This pitcher can hold four pounds of wax, so it's great if you're making the metal tins or you're making a couple aura vessels. As you scale up and you make more candles, investing in a wax melter, one is included in this kit, will save you so much time and make your candle making process way more efficient. So to use your four pound pitcher, you're simply gonna cut up the wax place it into the pitcher, and you're going to place your pitcher into a double boiler situation. Now, this simply means you're gonna take your pitcher, you're gonna put it into another pot, and you're gonna fill the pot till the water is about halfway up your black pouring pitcher. Now heat the water till it simmers, not boils, and your wax will melt slowly and evenly. We also include a thermometer. So when you're making candles, I mentioned a few temperatures. 
it's important to look at what the suggested melt and pour temperature is for each of your wax blends. You can find this information on Mixi.com on each of the product pages or on some larger products on the product label itself. Use this thermometer to help check your wax and make sure that you're not overheating it or that you have it at least to the correct temperature that's suggested. So I love that thermometer. Um, first of all, because it's digital, it makes it really simple to just look at the number and see what the temperature is. And it also has a little clip on it, which allows you to put it onto the side of your pouring pitcher. So your hands free, you can walk away, you can work on other aspects of making your candles while the wax melts. That's an awesome feature. Again, if you're looking to make candles more in bulk or you're making all of your aura vessels at once, then the nine liter wax melter is an amazing tool. You can basically just turn it on, say what temperature you'd like to heat to and walk away. Um, this is a piece, again, as you scale that you certainly want to think about as a candle maker and a wax melter, it, again, is just a great investment in your efficiency in that process. So if you plan to make and sell your candles or you just plan to make more candles in bulk, then definitely the wax melter is the way to go. So what else is included in this kit? So much fun stuff. You're also gonna receive fragrance, like I mentioned. Um, you'll get to choose a 16 ounce fragrance oil. I chose watermelon and lollipops because yum. It's amazing um, and it's super fresh, summery, and it's one of our top selling fragrances. You'll also receive a fragrance discovery kit which will contain 10.3 ounce fragrance oils. So when you're making candles, everything is done by weight. You'll weigh out your wax and you'll weigh out your fragrance oil. Uh, you want to use anywhere between 8 to 12% fragrance oil in your candle. So I'll break that down for you guys. Essentially, if you needed 100 ounces of product to fill your candle vessels and you'd like to use an 8% fragrance load, you would measure out 8 ounces of fragrance oil and separately you would measure out 92 ounces of wax. Again, all by weight, but you want the total to equal 100 and 8% of that would be your fragrance oil. So the 0.3 ounce fragrances that come in your discovery kit are perfect for one each in your tins. So I like to test out fragrances, both their cold throw, that means what they smell like when my candle is not lit, as well as the hot throw. That's the scent that you're gonna perceive when the candle is lit. So by testing them out in these tins, they're great to experience both the cold and hot throw of your fragrance oils. That will allow you to really fully evaluate that. Now before you start throwing them in your candles, you may wanna smell them first. So using a fragrance blotter strip, you can dip the fragrance blotter strip into the oil um, just about a half an inch and then you'll let it settle for 20 to 30 seconds and then you can evaluate it. So smelling on a fragrance blotter strip will give you a fuller picture of all of the notes within a fragrance uh, versus smelling just straight out of the oil will tend to give you only a perception of more the top notes or the lighter notes in your fragrance. So smell your fragrances on a fragrance blotter strip. And again, it's a great tip to test them both for your, their cold throw and their hot throw in candles. So what else do you need to make a candle? We've covered wax, we've covered fragrance, you'll have vessels, you need a wick. So this kit comes with our wick sample kit, which contains a variety of all of the types of wicks that we offer from our natural crackling wicks to our colored wicks to shaped wicks like our X wicks. These wicks are super fun to play around with and test out. And to figure out which wick is best for your candle, you'll want to visit our wick selection guide online. The wick selection guide is a super easy quiz that essentially allows you to enter in your vessel diameter, what wax type you're using, and then it will give you a wick suggestion. That wick suggestion will be included in your wick sample kit, so you'll be able to pull out that wick, make your candle with it. Now there's a ton of other tools and fun things to play around with like enhancers that come in this kit as well. So this kit is very exploratory and meant to teach you all about candle making. You'll receive a heat gun, which is also to me known as the candle maker's best friend. 
A heat gun can remedy almost any issue that happens during your candle making process. If you move your candle and you mess up the wax or you you know touch it and mess it up or your wax doesn't settle exactly how you'd like on the top, you can use a heat gun to simply wave over the surface of the wax. It will reliquify and it will settle evenly. You can also use the heat gun when you're adding in crystals or other non-flammable enhancers into your candle. We have a silicone mitt, which is a great tool just for safety in general. Obviously, when we're making candles, we are heating liquids up to high temperatures, up to 190 degrees. So keep your hands safe and wear a silicone mitt that will help protect you as you're dealing with your wax melter or your pouring pitcher. We also have some fun things like a beautiful eco lighter that is rechargeable and a black wick trimmer. So these tools are great for caring for your candles after they've been made. When you use your wick trimmer, you'll want to trim your wicks after the candle has fully cooled. That means at least 24 hours to about 0.125 inches or 1 8 of an inch above the surface of the wax. You'll also receive these very, very fun wick centering devices. So I've been making candles for years and I still have to say, I can't always get my wick and clip centered every single time. It's important to center your wick and clip because otherwise your wax can melt unevenly if your wick is too far to one side or the other. So to use your wick centering device, um, you can use these over and over again. You're simply gonna drop it into the center bottom of your vessel and then you'll see exactly where to place your wick and clip assembly. After your wick's been placed, you can simply pull this out. That's what we have these nice little tabs for on the side. Pull it out and it's ready to use again. We also include wick stickers. These are utilized to hold your wick and clip securely into the bottom of your vessel. You don't want your wick to move at all. Obviously it's going to be lit, so there will be a, a flame involved and these will help keep your wick and clip secure to the bottom. A little tip when I'm making candles, I like to remove one side of the adhesive from my wick stickers and then I place all of my wicks and clips on top of them so that I can simply pull the whole assembly up and place it into the center bottom of my vessel. It helps save time during the candle making process, which as you make more candles and if you're looking to sell them and scale your business, again, you want to be as efficient as possible. Last but not least, we have these warning labels, which contain all of the proper safety information so that you or others can burn your candles and understand how to do so properly. So place these warning labels onto the center bottom of your vessels after they've fully cured. Our digital scale is a absolute necessity for candle makers or anybody making soap, bath and body products, any personal care or air care products really, we go by weight. So you will use your digital scale to measure out your wax, to measure out your fragrance oils, and ensure that your ratios are proper before you put them into your candles. Now, some of the fun stuff that's included in this kit for those who like to get creative, which I'm sure is a lot of you, um, we include some eco dyes. These dyes will help color your wax. So we include a variety of colors. You can play with the rainbow, and these dyes are REACH certified and they're made with a renewable solvent system. Our eco dyes can be used to achieve really any shade of color that you choose within a spectrum. So if you have a black eco dye, which is one of our top sellers, and you're looking for a darker shade, you'll wanna use more in lines of eight drops per pound of wax versus if you're looking for something on the lighter side, i.e. like a light gray, two drops per pound of wax will actually go a long way. I know it doesn't sound like much, but these dyes are highly concentrated, so a little bit will go a long way in your candles. And part of this process is discovering what colors you like and how to perfect your formula in the candle making process. We also include eco glitters, super fun. These can be sprinkled on top of your candles to add some fun pizzazz and personality to them. They come in both fine and chunky options, and we suggest utilizing these on the surface of your candle wax. Also, another fun thing you could play around with are our mini chips. So these are small crystals that you can use as enhancements to the top of your candle. 
They are popular for adding an intention or just a beautiful aesthetic to your candles as well. So there you have it. This is the ultimate candle starter kit. Anybody who's interested in making candles and taking it to the next level, this is the kit for you. This kit will also include a digital version of our burn book, which gives you tons of inside information that honestly has taken us years to gather. We simplify it for you into one piece of content so that you can accelerate your knowledge in candle making. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now go make it happen.